Corona Cartel, the leading living sire of stakes winners presents the second fastest on day two, Scoos, please. For most horses, the chasm between a state-bred stakes in June and the All-American Trials would prove to be a formidable jump. But the undefeated gelding Scoos, please, made the leap in good order. Running, breaking inward was Who's Up, bumped into Skews Please, and Skews Please bumped into final separation, but Wagon Tails got away fast. Wagon Tails, then Fatal Policy. And then to the inside of that is Who's Up, down at the rail, is Mr. Secret Cartel, followed up by DM1 Hot Charmer, and it is Wagon Tails in front. Skews Please got into second. Wagon Tails, Skews Please, and then Fatal Policy and DM1 Hot Charmer. Skews Please and GR Carter survive an early bump to qualify for small Oklahoma owner breeder, Joe Mills. He's a man who seldom nominates his horses to major races. But this time, Mills paid the $50,000 All-American late fee for this gilded son of Dash and By. Trainer Tana Pace says there was another reason for holding back from early commitments. As a baby, he kind of, he was sick a little bit and so wasn't really sure what was going to come of that. And so just kind of, Went from race to race, and every race he just showed a little more and a little more. And after winning the Easy Jet, we kind of thought, well, he was a potential for the All American. And the guy didn't want to pay him up. And then we kind of talked to him, went and seen him a time or two, and you know, was just pretty sure he should be here. Yes, he should. Excuse, please. Coming through for the All American finals.